So I'm probably only going to do the two vlogs for the Sapphic Readathon because I didn't quite realize how long they would be. I probably should have done something like Matthew Sharapa did when he did his um, audio spookathon where he did one every day and just posted like that. Just because this is getting really long and I had only really planned to do two because I do want to do a wrap up as well. Sorry, Wally keeps being really adorable. Yeah, I do want to do a wrap-up as well, and I don't want it to get too long. I like my videos to be about under 10 minutes, or right around there. So, this is a learning process, but here is my video. Thanks! So it's like 12.30. In the afternoon I woke up way later than I wanted to but I didn't go to bed oh sorry this is the day five of the sapphic readathon I didn't go to bed till like 3 a.m. because I finished lambs can always become lions which is exciting it was really good um definitely wish it was kind of longer than it had been because it just kind of ended I was like it got to the end I was just like oh so there's that, but I guess there's going to be a sequel, so I'll hopefully read that when it comes out. I'm currently just eating breakfast. And then I do have some things I have to do. We put new carpeting in, which looks really awesome. But as you can see, that's my TBR bookshelf. Very, very empty. I'm pretty sure I'm mixing a box. There's a bookshelf over there for my parents' stuff, and it's completely empty. So I need to get things kind of back in order. I have dishes to do. And I have to cook. So hopefully I'll be able to read. Kind of do some more. I'm thinking I'm continuing with Thaw. Um, so we'll see. And I will check in after I get some things done. Maybe I'll film me doing the... Putting my TBR back together. Well, until the next time. Well, until the next check-in. Bye! Hey everyone, I'm back for a check-in. It's just a little after 11 p.m. Um, I have a face mask on. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, I kind of applied it incorrectly. It's this FOMO one from Lush. Not sponsored at all. It's a jelly one. And you're supposed to like pinch off a little bit. And create a paste. And then put it on your face. And I didn't know if I was supposed to do it wet or dry. So I tried it wet. And it kind of worked. I'm guessing dry. So I'll try that next time. I'm gonna do a quick check-in. Um, I'm about 35-ish percent of the way through Thaw by Elise Springer. And I gotta say I'm really liking it so far. Um, like I mentioned in my TBR, Sapphic Readathon TBR, um, the main character uh, Abigail in this is asexual. And it's kind of really interesting because there's a moment where she comes out to her friends and as someone who is still trying to figure out how to do that, it was kind of really interesting. So, I mean, it was kind of interesting to see her come out to her friends, one who is a gay man and the other one who is heterosexual, and just see kind of how they deal with it, how it's defined in the book. Hi, Wally. You want to be on camera? Oh, look up. Say Hi. trying to claim my my phone um and so she is kind of starting she's at the point where she's just starting the relationship with Gabrielle and like whether or not she should tell her what are the expectations and stuff like that and as someone who is romantic asexual and I just something I'm really interested in seeing how this plays out in the re romantic relationship but like I said I'm liking it so far but I just want to do a check-in today was my day off I was very lazy um, I did end up cooking dinner. We made spaghetti. It was pretty good. And then I just read, mostly. I'm going to sit around, probably pay, play with Wally for a little bit. He's getting a little rambunctious, but until next time. Bye. But I finished Thaw by Elise Springer. And... And I really enjoyed it. I really like the asexual representation in it. 
I really actually connected with the main character, Abigail. Aww. And really like how they dealt with her being in a relationship with someone who was sexual. It was really interesting. I do want to put a trigger warning on the book for kind of an abusive relationship. Not the main characters and her, like not Abigail's and Gabrielle's relationship, but there is an abusive relationship that is happening in Gabrielle's life. And I just want to put a trigger warning on it because it is pretty apparent and shows up throughout quite a bit of the story. So I don't want anyone to be surprised by that if they pick it up. I will probably actually do a full review on that one because I really did enjoy it. But for now, I'm signing off and I have to get ready for work tomorrow. It's like midnight and I was just playing with Wally. So until then, bye! Hey everyone, this is Mary over here at Images on the Page. Today is the 10th day of the Sapphic Readathon. I've been really bad about reading it. I did finish both Lambs Can Always Become Lions and Thaw, um, but I haven't really picked up another one. I'm hoping to start. Not Your Sidekick by C.B. Lee soon. So, I just want to keep you updated. I did have my family Christmas party today, which was super fun. So that was really nice because I got to see all my cousins for once. Because usually some of them are working or whatever, so we were all able to go this time. So it was really nice. Although it was in a smaller house than it's usually how someone else had it, but eh, that's fine. Well, until the next check-in... Bye. Hey everyone, it is day, ooh, well it's Christmas Eve, <laughs> so that makes it day, day 11 of the Savak Readathon. I had to count on my fingers for that, that's not good. And I just want to do a quick check-in, this will probably be my last check-in for the part two of the vlog, just because I do want to do a wrap-up where I go more in-depth about how I feel about what I'm reading and whatnot. I want to do some things. I actually found the box of books I thought I'd lost. So I'm going through them right now so I can get them back on my shelf. And I'm actually getting rid of quite a few of them. I've been reading the synopsis again so that I have less. Because <laughs> I still have some of my Kindle as well. And I'm also watching Russell. I'm watching Russell from the Ink and Paper vlog. I just watched his video. Um, where you go to page like 112, it's like a new book tag that's going through. Go th to page 112, and then you decide if you want to continue reading the book or not. I might do that. I haven't decided. I also want to show you that we finally got stuff in our cabinet after getting... It's been like two weeks since we had our stupid carpet put in. What I really wanted to show you. So we're on under winter weather advisory. Give me a second. Yeah, we're under a winter weather advisory, and we're supposed to get, like, seven or so inches by 7 p.m. tomorrow. And I just wanted to show this to you guys. Because I know some of you are from very, very warm climates and are not used to this. So, that is what it looks like right now. It's awesome. I love it. It's also really cold. My feet are freezing. But it's just, it's so pretty. No, Wally, you can't go outside. Well, like I said, this will probably be my last check-in before... Oh, wait. There's one last thing I have to do. Or I want to show you. I wanted to show you guys real quick the Sapphic Readathon bullet journal spread I did. So this is the bingo board that they had, and I have them marked with which ones qualify for which. I have this really pretty holographic washi tape on there. Isn't that so pretty? And on this page, I just have where I am in each book. Kind of has my TBR on it. As you can see, I had quite a few. I'm hoping to maybe finish Not Your Sidekick and then maybe get to at least one more. Well, there's only like three more days because it ends on the 28th. So I have the 25th, maybe four more days. The 25th, because I have tomorrow for actual Christmas. 25th, 26th, 27th, and 28th at midnight. So I guess here's for hoping I can maybe get two more in. Oh, uh, I don't think. Here we... Yeah, I don't know. Well, anyway, until the next video, ta-ta for now!